Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. So today we're going to do the backyard garden update. We'll start over here, the pomegranate tree looks pretty much the same. And then right on down here, look at my chocolate mint. Yep, came back full force. Very, very pleased. Yes, you can't kill chocolate mint. The tomato, it's huge. It goes from there all the way to there. Hardly any tomatoes, so we're hoping it's a fall tomato. Spaghetti squash, I'm sorry, patty pan. Get my head around it. All right, patty pan. We are letting it go to seed. Can you see that down there? It's about four inches thick and huge because <clears throat> The worms are in the extremities. Everything I tried to bury didn't root. Also, over here, we have another one. Can you see that? We are letting that one also go to seed, so then I'll have seed for next year. The other volunteer tomato doing pretty good still getting lots of tomatoes off of it sage parsley oregano chives and I think this is rosemary are all doing really good fig tree all the figs are ripe they taste really good we've had a lot of rain here lately so basil Greek oregano doing wonderful went ahead and planted a um, zucchini and a yellow crookneck squash they're coming up lemon tree I heard from sustenance and covering that fruit trees will drop the fruit they can't support support so I won't be pulling off any more lemons we'll see what the tree wants to do asparagus seed doing really good most of these uh, one of them fell off and we found it on the ground had like five seeds in them so I'm really excited about the quantity of seeds we're gonna have Oops, carrots gotta fill up that head tonight oh, there's still ants on it so we won't wrap it up till the ants finish we got lots more coming. Looking really good. Now, they call them, I did some reading on seed to seed. So the first one, first stem that comes up, this is the primary. And it has the best seed on it. This stock coming up here is the secondary. So this one here is the secondary. You see that? It comes straight up. This offshoot are not seeds you want to worry about saving. Alright? So it kind of gives you a priority of what ones to wrap. We got uh, still flowering over here. So no seeds on it yet. And there was one over here that flowered. But as you can see there are no seeds doesn't mean some won't show up but right now there are none cabbage I was reading about cabbage and how to make them go to seed so what you do is it's like carrots it's a second year plant if you're in a very cold area you're gonna have to dig them up put them in the greenhouse and then replant them in spring but since I'm in Texas southern Texas uh, we don't have to do that so come next spring, what you do is you come out here and you cut an X, a deep X through the center. And then a stem is going to come up and lay seed. So I think we have three viable heads here, maybe four. Let's see, two. Uh, that might do something. Nah, that's a, that's a good one over there. It's, it's hard. That's what I'm looking for. See how I can squish this one? And I can't squish that one. Those are the three heads I'm going to save. These two are coming up. 
and we'll overwinter those. This tomato plant is still doing about the same. It does about the same as that one over there, so I'm really pleased. It's a good summer tomato cherry. I gave my onions a second trim. As you can see, the stalks are starting to get nice and thick. So they're going to be ready for transplant in another couple weeks. Keeping the green beans still alive. They should give us a really nice fall crop since they're so healthy. Very pleased with them. And then in here, the holy, if you can see, let me zoom in some more. There's the Brussels sprouts just starting. This is probably the best place to start Brussels sprouts because they take so long to grow and our summers just get so hot so quick. This is really about 10 degrees cooler in here and it gets a nice breeze through the holes in the side. So it's really working out great. So next year it's just gonna have Brussels sprouts or cauliflower in there. So there you go. That's the garden. I'm really pleased. Getting ready for fall. And uh, enjoying everything going to seed for the first time. First time enjoying it and realizing things like uh, how much do you need to you know, my broccoli that I seeded over there, I think I got 10 seeds off of it. So in order to replant only 10 plants, if 70% of them germinate, you know, you got to keep that stuff in mind. And uh, very disappointed about the patty pan and the worms. Just could never get a handle on them. But I've had a good harvest out of it and uh, I may just replant for fall with my seeds. So I hope you, you all have a wonderful day and blessings.